roles and responsibilities of a school board member, roles and responsibilities of a superintendent, because not that, and I'm not referring to any school board member in here, but you know that on the majority, these school board members cower down to these superintendents, and it's as, as though, though you work for the superintendent and you just need to rubber stamp everything that they do because they're the they're the experts, right? Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Hold on one second. So, um, and I I'm glad that you brought up this because I I actually really forget to bring this up, but we do have another national uh, training coming up. If we go very in depth on these issues and these trainings, we have media training. We want you to be the experts when you as parents or you as community members, um, when you start holding these press conferences, we want you to be the experts on how to present yourself with the media. So we have these media trainings. Um, and uh, I know the one coming up, we have Ian Pryor, who was the dad that took on Loudoun County School Board. So it's not only about the training, it's about having that empowerment to keep you going because this is this hard work, isn't it? I mean, it, it's, it's rewarding, but it's draining, and we understand that. So talk, talk to me about the, the training that you went to in Nashville, and if there's anyone in here that wants to take it to the next level, I, I really encourage you to reach out to us because um, we'd like to look at, are you a... a fit for this and um, but ladies talk to us about this training and that you went through in Nashville how did it change you you did the candidates um, workshop right yeah and I didn't so if you want to speak to that and then I'll follow up sorry yeah so um, Nashville was quite the experience um, for me it was kind of just walking into something that I had no idea about and I came out with all these resources um, you know just knowing that there's an organization here that's willing to teach you and support you through the process and and just help you um, get through all of that and and back you up with the information um, uh, you know there there was a candidate um, spot where we met and interviewed and talked with somebody, um, you know, just kind of to prep you to to make you feel more confident um, in the fact that you were interested in running um, and just yeah, and just meeting some amazing people. Thanks. Um, Nashville was really special for me as well. Uh, I already knew how to go through the ranks to achieve what I want for my children and what I value. Um, but going to Nashville taught me um, that communicating my values when taking on these topics is safe and important because you have conviction. And I will tell you, it was Palm Sunday and CL's birthday, and CL just brought down the house. I mean, we were people who I've never seen get emotional were emotional <laughs> um, and then I ended up on an airplane with him and I'm like oh my god he's gonna sit next to me I'm so nervous what do I say I'm just, he's so wise and I am not and he sat down and we had this like brilliant conversation probably mostly on his end that the whole airplane was listening to him, for sure. and I'm like you know what just don't be afraid to communicate your values when you confront yeah. these issues um, and it'll come through and other par parents will rally behind you. Mm. So I'm all excited right now, I'm all jittery and nervous, well I'm going to use that energy to yeah. take these fools on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to tell you, <laughs> um, public speaking is 70 percent of people's fear uh, is public speaking and it holds them back from doing great things and I've told this story and I and hopefully it encourages you <laughs> um, Laura Zork I would 
cry. I would get sick to my stomach before I had to get up in public speak when I had to go to these school board meetings. And uh, I, my kids, I, I had to go to Tallahassee. I had to speak before the education committee. There was parental rights coming up, and the governor said, will you come up and speak on this? And I said yes. First time I ever spoke before any crowd like that. Had my three kids front row. And I get up there and speak. I mean, my voice is shaking. <laughs> and I'm, I'm sh I mean, I'm literally shaking. And I, I did my five minutes, and then I go back and I sit down uh, next to my son, who at the time, Chandler, I think he was probably about eight. And he's like, Mom, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, my kids are just looking at me. <laughs> and, and I'm like, yeah, Chandler, I'm okay. Why? He's like, Mom, <laughs> I thought you were a big crime. <laughs> and I'm like, Chandler, that's mommy's nervous voice, but I had to get up there, I had to do it. And that's what we have to do. Even though you have a fear of public speaking, we know where fear comes from. Yeah. Get up there, and I encourage parents, do it afraid, because the more you do it, the more empowered you'll be, and uh, the better you'll get at it. So practice does make perfect, and that's what we tell our kids. And um, So, what's the next step for you all? What... How can, how can this group help you as parents um, take on this challenge? Thank you. Um, this group already is being tremendously supportive by just getting out of bed and getting your butts here to learn <laughs> about what we can do. Um, a few months ago, it must have been probably about six months ago, I overheard a whole bunch of older guys talking about how indoctrinating our children and this, that, and the other thing. And I'm like, what are we going to do about this? Mm -hmm. What is the answer? And then, and I prayed. All of a sudden, Angela Bell calls me up, an old friend from Trump Victory Team. She's now with Freedom Works, and she recruited me to an education reform event. I was like, yes, Lord. Yes, this is God speaking to me, using me as a vessel to get mm -hmm. things done for the future of our country so I would say go to the meetings please even if you aren't a member of the district and you can't speak hold up a sign stand up in support of somebody who is speaking because the more we pressure these boards they're gonna get the message so that's that's how I could use your support get back into your community encourage people to take advantage of these trainings and make sure that you don't have your head in the sand because uh, a lot of people are walking around like sheep and we know it so we just can't be doing that no way not for this country not for our kids mm -hmm. like jay said everybody being here today is is huge um for me just because i am preparing to run for school board I think knowledge is power, and anything, any resource I can use to prepare for that is going to be so helpful. Um, and, you know, I can just imagine being on the school board that there's so much to know. Um, you know, laws, I don't know the laws. I don't, you know, I don't know any of that. So anything you can bring to my attention that's going to help anything move forward, um, you know, that's, that's going to be what I need. members that have been on the school board four to eight years don't even know <laughs> the laws. <laughs> so you probably are knowing a lot more than most of them, so feel comfort there. Um, like they said, they need help. Whenever you hear Jade or Michelle, if you see an email that they send out, it's a call to action, please don't just ignore that. Don't just keep it to yourself. Send it out and try to get behind the parents who, like I said, these are their kids that they're putting into the schools, but they need your help, each and every one of you. So um, hopefully we can get that commitment. Do I have that commitment in this room? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Perfect. So um, one good benefit is that we were going to have uh, an event.
it until 5 o'clock today, and we shortened it to 1.30 because of some schedule conflicts. But we've already paid for this room for a full day, so we will have another um, three-hour uh, educational uh, seminar, and uh, we will plan that with these mamas up here. But folks, we got to get more parents in here. Yeah. They have to hear this. Mm -hmm. So I hope that you can, whenever we have the next one, mm -hmm. and, and these ladies will basically be organizing that, get them here. Can I get everyone to commit to bringing at least three people with them next time? So, um, we have your hand up. We only have three minutes. Quick, Go ahead. Quick, quick question. What do you do with parents who are aware of CRT but feel it's the right thing to teach? What do you tell those parents? They don't understand what they're teaching. Because they don't understand okay, right. what CRT really is. Okay, well then we should perhaps get a video clip of that incredible panel from earlier and wig them up. <laughs> wig them up. That's a great idea. Thank you. Another question? If I could just give a little perspective to the concept of going straight to the top with a complaint. I'm a school board member with experience all of one month. I was appointed at the beginning of September. Um, what uh, is SAU 16. Oh my God. <laughs> yes, exactly that one. Thank you for holding the line, hopefully. Um, um, congratulations. The reason I volunteered to be appointed was because the superintendent needs to go. Okay? And if parents are taught to go right to the top to talk to the superintendent. They're not going to get action, number one, and the people that that superintendent works for, the school board, are not going to be aware of that because he's not going to tell them. Well, it, if I can stop you there, the truth is they need to know who is the top. Yeah, I yeah. yeah. So, so yeah, I agree with you. I, I would go I go everywhere. Okay, okay. that's so good. Go <laughs> that's good. You can write the superintendent and copy the board. That's what a lot of parents do. I would write parents. to the chairman of the of the school board and copy the superintendent. Mm. Yes. Put him in the subordinate well, spot there's a lot of liberal chairman go. that's not going to let that trickle down to the other board members, though. Mm. All right, we're we're out of time for questions. Uh, um, but yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs>